Today we're going on an incredible adventure, not to a faraway planet, but deep beneath one of the most famous places in North America, the Great Lakes. Imagine you're a detective, but instead of looking for clues with a magnifying glass, we're going to use super sensitive listening devices to hear what s happening miles below the ground. You probably know the Great Lakes are huge pools of water, so big they look like oceans. But have you ever wondered what's underneath them? Scientists have. And what they found is super interesting. They use something called seismic data. Think of it like a giant ultrasound for the Earth. They send tiny vibrations like a super soft drum beat into the ground. These vibrations travel down, bounce off different layers of rock, and come back up. By listening to how these vibrations or seismic waves return, scientists can create a map of what the Earth looks like deep, deep down. Recently, Scientists were looking at this seismic data from under the Great Lakes, and they saw something weird, something they didn't expect. It was a giant anomaly. Now, an anomaly is just a fancy word for something that's different or surprising. It is like if you were sorting a big pile of red apples and suddenly found a blue one. You'd stop and say, whoa, what's this? That's exactly what the scientists did. This anomaly is part of something much, much bigger called the Mid-Continent Rift System. Okay, that sounds complicated, but let's break it down. A rift is like a giant crack in the Earth's crust that started to form a long, long time ago. We're talking over a billion years ago. Imagine taking a chocolate bar and trying to pull it apart. It would start to stretch and crack in the middle before it breaks completely. That's what happened to North America. The continent started to pull apart right down the middle. This stretching and cracking created a huge valley. And because the Earth's crust got thinner, hot magma from deep inside the planet started to ooze up. Kind of like how caramel might ooze out of that chocolate bar. This hot rock filled the rift valley. It was a super dramatic time for our planet. For millions of years, this process continued, with layers of volcanic rock and sediment piling up inside the rift. But then, for reasons scientists are still trying to figure out, it just stopped. The continent stopped pulling apart, and the rift never became a new ocean. It just sat there, a giant scar hidden deep underground. This ancient scar runs right through the middle of North America, and a big part of it is right under the Great Lakes, especially Lake Superior. The anomaly that got scientists so excited is a part of this old rift. Using their seismic ears, they discovered that the rocks in this area are incredibly dense and thick. They're much heavier and different from the rocks all around them. Think of it like finding a secret, hidden layer in a cake that's made of solid fudge while the rest is light sponge. So, why is this a big deal? Well, for a long time, scientists had a general idea that the rift was there. They could see clues on the surface. For example, the rocks you can find along the shores of Lake Superior are actually ancient volcanic rocks from this very rift. They are beautiful and full of minerals like copper. In fact, this area was the site of America's first big mining rush, even before the famous California Gold Rush, all because of the copper that came up through this ancient rift system. But seeing it this clearly deep underground is like getting a brand new high-definition picture of something you've only seen in a blurry old photo before. This new data shows the rift is even bigger and more complex than we thought. It's not just a simple crack. It's a massive, layered structure of ancient volcanic rock and sediments buried under miles of newer rock. This helps us answer some big questions. For one, it helps us understand how continents are made and how they change over time. It's a snapshot of a tectonic process, the pulling apart of a continent that failed. By studying this failed ocean, we can learn more about how successful oceans like the Atlantic were formed. It's like studying a half-finished building to understand how skyscrapers are constructed. Another cool thing, is what it tells us about earthquakes. You might not think of the Great Lakes region as an earthquake hotspot like California, and you'd be right. But small earthquakes do happen here. Why? Because these ancient rift systems are old zones of weakness in the Earth's crust. Even though the rift isn't active anymore, the stresses and strains on the North American continent can sometimes cause these old faults to slip a little bit, creating small tremors. It's like an old injury that sometimes aches when the weather changes. Understanding this massive, dense structure under the lakes helps scientists better predict where these little quakes might happen. And there's more. 
This massive pile of dense volcanic rock actually affects gravity. Yes, you heard that right. Because these rocks are so heavy, the pull of gravity is slightly stronger over the rift. It's not something you could ever feel, but super sensitive instruments can measure it. This gravity anomaly was one of the first clues scientists had that something unusual was hiding down there. And the new seismic data confirms what the gravity data was telling them. So what we have is a story that's over a billion years old. A story of a continent trying to rip itself in two, creating a fiery valley of volcanoes and magma right where the peaceful Great Lakes now sit. It is a process that created incredible mineral wealth and left behind a hidden scar that we are just now beginning to fully understand. It's a perfect example of how the Earth is always changing, even if those changes happen over millions and billions of years. The ground beneath our feet has a history full of dramatic and exciting events. Isn't that amazing? The next time you see a picture of the Great Lakes, or maybe if you're lucky enough to visit one, you can think about the incredible secret hidden deep below the water. You can imagine that billion-year-old rift, a failed ocean filled with ancient volcanic rock, quietly resting miles beneath the surface. It's a reminder that there are always new discoveries to be made, even in places we think we know so well. Science is a never-ending detective story, and we just uncovered a huge clue. Thanks so much for joining me on this deep dive into Earth's history today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. If you enjoyed this and want to explore more amazing science stories with us, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Let us know in the comments what other science mysteries you'd like us to investigate next. Until then, stay curious.